What's up everyone? This is Harshad Menon from Health and Muscles. If you're new to this channel, please do subscribe to the video because I come up with awesome content every Wednesdays. Let's start up with a new video. A quick recap before we start the video. So in the previous videos, we saw that we get energy from protein, carbs and fats, which are together called as macronutrients. In the last video, we talked about fats in detail. So fats are of three types. One is saturated fats. Now saturated fats are solids at room temperature. While the second one, the unsaturated fats, they are liquids at room temperature and they are of two types. One is polyunsaturated fatty acids, that's PUFA, and they are the healthiest. And the other one is monounsaturated fatty acids, that's MUFAs, and they are second to PUFA. The final type of fat is called as trans fat. Now this is man-made and not the healthiest. So we will be talking about carbs on the other side. Stay tuned. Carbohydrates give you 4 calories. Now, there are many people who would say that it is not an essential macronutrient, that it is not required, but it has got its own benefits. To start with, first of all, it is very damn tasty. Now, who wouldn't like to have a fruit or a strawberry shake or for that matter, rice? Ah, I'll make it simple. Think of anything tasty, chances are 99% of it contains carbs. Carbohydrates are known as saccharides in biochemistry. Simply, it means sugar. Now, carbohydrates are classified into three different types. The first one is monosaccharides. Now, they are the simplest form of sugars and they contain molecules like glucose, fructose and galactose. They come from foods like honey, fruit juices and some vegetables. The second type is disaccharides. Now they are made up of two simple sugar molecules combined together. That's two molecules of monosaccharides. Uh, the example would be glucose and galactose coming together to make lactose. Now this is found in milk. The other example would be glucose and fructose which together makes your table sugar. The third type is your polysaccharide. Now, they are complex carbohydrates. They are made up of many sugar molecules, uh, simple sugar molecules. That's many monosaccharide molecules put together. The common example would be your rice, your wheat, your legumes, potatoes. When you take in carbohydrates, during digestion, the polysaccharides are broken down into their disaccharides and monosaccharides. So, what are exactly simple carbs and complex carbs? Well, carbohydrates that are made up of one or two sugar molecule and which is much easier for our body to break down into glucose is called as simple carbs. While complex carbs are normally starch, which is a storage polysaccharide. It takes longer duration to break down into their monosaccharide unit and finally to glucose, which gives us energy. So what happens when we eat carbs? Well, the initial digestion begins in our mouth itself in the presence of our saliva, while the majority of the digestion happens in the small intestine. Now the fate of carbs that you eat are your body breaks down the carbs into glucose and use it for energy. After using for energy, the balance, if not required immediately, will be stored as glycogen in the liver and your muscles. Uh, that's where your glycogen is stored. So liver can store up to approximately 100 grams of glycogen and muscles can store approximately 500 grams of glycogen. When the glucose is absent in the bloodstream, the body breaks down this stored glycogen again for energy. The storage is always replenished the moment you eat. Now, even after this, if there is an excess of glucose, then this glucose is converted to fats, which is stored in your adipose cells. Uh, that's fat cells basically. All these are fat cells. So 
imagine i'm working out at the gym doing my bicep curls with moderate to high intensity now the glycogen stored in the muscles will be broken down into glucose because of the activity now my bicep muscle will oxidize these through anaerobic and aerobic process to produce atp for my muscle contraction and relaxation by the way atp is nothing but the energy currency of the body and it's called as adenosine triphosphate so it's very simple higher the intensity quicker the glycogen stores will be depleted in the muscle carbohydrates are a very important macronutrient when it comes to athletes or bodybuilders because it can affect your performance so when you're working out you deplete the glycogen stored in the muscles now for endurance athletes they need a much higher amount of carbs as compared to your resistance training athletes research suggests that ingesting carbs before their training in case of endurance athletes increases their performance while in case of strength training ones it is shown that it increases the total work done uh, but that is still debatable for which further studies need to be conducted what we can conclude is even though carbs are not very important macronutrient for survival but it has got its own merits using it smartly will help you get better output from your body that's a glimpse about carbs in this video and we will be talking about proteins in the next video but then if you like the video do hit the like button and while you're at it do subscribe and yeah do not forget to turn on the notification also please do share it with your friends thank you